Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Fun with Robotics. Well this episode is not something that I was planning on doing, but I ran into some unintended consequences with adding the dust collection hood to my mobile miter saw stand. So what happened was when I went to put it away in my garage, it was sticking out too far from the wall and I couldn't get my car past it to, to put my car in the garage. So I decided to make some adjustments to the dust collection hood, uh, make it a little bit thinner, and then I had to come up with a mechanism to keep the dust from coming out the back so let's have a look at uh, these modifications and I'll show you what I did to solve the problem. Let's go have a look. My objective was to reduce the overall width of the unit so that when this side was pushed up against a wall I could get my car past it when I put this over in my detached garage. And in order to do that I had to um, reduce the width of the dust hood which came out to about here. It was an additional uh, maybe five inches longer than it is right now. So I disassembled it and I cut down the width of this side panel and the current width of this was determined by the position at which the back of the saw was when the saw was pushed completely forward on its rail system. So right now this piece of half inch plywood slides past the back of the saw when it's pushed on its rails totally forward. Just by maybe a quarter of an inch. So that left me with another problem. So once I had reduced the width here uh, when pushing the saw back out for doing cuts, the uh, rail slide of the saw would actually stick out the back here. And I really couldn't use the same methodology that I was using with the tarp to cover the back uh, in order to collect the dust. So I decided to come up with a, a collapsible mechanism, if you will, to enclose this back area when I'm using the saw and allow it to uh, fold flat when it's being stored in the other garage which helps to reduce the overall width. So let me show you how that works. So this is the system that I came up with. Basically, you've got the major hole in the back here which allows the saw to slide on its rail system out to about here and also allows the back side of the saw to swivel if I'm making miter cuts. So I've added these two wings here that fold, fold down. They fold out and then this piece basically just folds up and over and then I have these buckle clips that clip on to the side and hold it in place. So while I'm using the saw, um, this will keep the dust from flying out the back and then when I'm done with using the saw, I can unclip this, let it fold down, fold the wings in and I can push it against the wall a lot easier. Now, the fit and finish of this is not perfect. I mean, there is some slight openings uh, where I have hinges and where it meets the back here, but it certainly does enough of a good job to, um, to really meet my needs. There's not a lot of dust flying out of these little slots that I really have to worry about it. So this really, um, this really completes the build for adding the dust collection to my miter saw and uh, I think it uh, solves the problem of being able to store this when I'm not using it and putting it in the detached garage and let, letting me put my car in there as well. So I'm pretty happy with it. Well that's going to wrap it up for episode 15 of Fun with Robotics. 
And with that, I'm going to put an end to the shop organizational projects that I've been working on. I actually do have several more carts that I would like to build, but they're simply not critical at the moment, so I'm going to put them off till a later date. Instead, I'm going to be focusing the next month or so on some of the new machines that I brought into the shop that I'll be using to build robots with, and also how I set up my three-phase power system to power some of those larger machines. So, if you have any questions about this week's build, you can always send me an e email to info at theroboticscodedepot.com and don't forget to check out the website theroboticscodedepot.com because I'm continuing to put new posts there as well. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.